Today we are going to talk about the two different layers of skin and the unique conflicts that go with each tissue layer. So we have the deeper layer of skin, the dermis, and we have the outer layer of skin, the epidermis. So the dermis layer of skin is controlled by the cerebellum and the conflict theme is feeling attacked or feeling soiled or feeling unclean or disfigured. And so what happens is when I feel, when I perceive this attack, it could be that you're yelling and spit is flying in my face and you're screaming at me. So I'm feeling attacked and soiled. It could be that you said something nasty behind my back and I'm feeling attacked from behind. And so these are perceived by the body as a need for thicker skin, right? I need to proliferate additional tissue in whatever region is perceiving this attack or this defilement. I build up extra tissue during the active conflict. And then when I resolve it, when I get out of the attack situation, when I'm no longer um, feeling soiled or defiled, I'm able to take a shower. Oh, what a relief. I've cleaned away the thing that was making me unclean. The body then decomposes and breaks down the extra tissues that were built up. And so this is pimples, boils, melanomas, um, abscesses, things that build up uh, build up bigger during the conflict and then break down and decompose. So if you have something on your skin and there's pus involved or if it smells, if there's an odor, that indicates that there's bacteria active in the decomposition process. And so we know this is the deeper layer of skin. Often people, when we're um, talking together and trying to figure out, okay, what layer of skin are we dealing with? Always check is there a funky odor? Funky odor always means one of the old brain tissues is involved and bacteria are actively assisting during the healing phase. So that's the deeper layer of skin. Now the superficial layer of skin, the ectoderm, controlled from the cerebral cortex, the squamous epithelial tissue, the conflict theme is different because it developed at a different stage and it, this is about connection. So the outer skin is about separation. It's about touch, community, connection, feeling torn away from someone that's important to you. And so in nature, it's very important for our survival that we have close contact with people. And so the separation conflict can be either wanting this contact, you know, a young child that's dealing with rashes, we know that they are wanting contact with their mother and that there's some type of separation conflict either with the mother or there could be a conflict about wanting separation. I don't want contact with the grandmother, with the mother-in-law, with the nanny. I would like to touch my mother. I would like to smell my mother. I don't want to have contact with someone else. So this is either wanting contact or not wanting contact. And the area of the body the symptom shows up on can also reveal to us clues because this inside of the body, the inside of the elbows, the backs of the legs, where I'm touching, where I'm embracing, this is I want contact. The backs of the side of the body, I don't want contact. I want to, you know, the back of the hand, I want to separate from you. And so either wanting or not wanting contact. So what happens with this conflict, it's different. So the other conflict, remember we had thickening of the skin during the active conflict followed by decomposition. This is the reverse. So during the active separation conflict, when I am wanting to push you away or I'm desperately missing my contact with you, there is erosion, there's loss of tissue. So we're thinning out the tissue and this causes numbing. And just think about it. So if I am sensitive to you being gone from me, the body helps to desensitize. So we lose tissue, we thin the tissue. There's also memory loss. So separation conflicts and short-term memory loss are directly associated. So a person who deals with lots of memory issues, we know that they've had lots of separation conflicts. So loss of tissue, loss of memory, and think about it. This is a way that nature is merciful. Nature only does what makes sense. Remember the fifth biological law. It makes sense if I'm missing you for me to forget you, right? They say that about the cat with its kittens. If the mother cat loses her kittens, she forgets they exist. That's because nature is merciful. It's a way of helping you, assisting you through the pain of feeling separated from someone that is important to you. And so loss of tissue during the active conflict. And then, oh, when we're back with mommy again, when we have reunited, then the tissue has to refill. So there were micro ulcerations in the skin during the active conflict. Now we have tissue regrowth, refilling, replenishment, and that's when the skin is itchy and inflamed and uncomfortable. And so that means your separation conflict has come into healing. So those are the two different types of skin conflicts.